Joining us now is the number three Republican in the House, Wyoming's Liz Cheney. Good morning to you. Good morning, Margaret. You heard the vice president say next time the president might say something. Why doesn't the president, as a matter of principle, say unequivocally that non-white Americans are just as American as anyone else? Why doesn't he put this to rest? Well, I think you've heard him say that the chant was inappropriate. We've all said the chant was inappropriate. I he think the said news they were media patriotic, I very think, patriotic. I think the news media really wants to make this about race. You just did it. This isn't about race. It's not about gender. It's not about religion. Um, these members of the House of Representatives, more, it's not just these four, it's also some of the candidates who are running for president on the Democratic side, mm -hmm. fundamentally believe in policies that are dangerous for this nation. And as Republicans, we are going to fight against those, even if the mainstream media accuses us of racism when we do that. This well, is about it their support for social... It is, absolutely, it is absolutely wrong. It should not have happened. We've all said it shouldn't have happened. Uh, I would really like to and see the, the media as focused. Back. I would like to see the media as focused on the substance of what this wing of the Democratic Party is advocating, because that is really dangerous for our country. Well, you understand Socialism the president tweeted about dangerous. this this morning, I right do. before I we do. went to That's air. Right. So the it president is, is, is continuing this conversation. The president this morning, before we came on air, talked about the extent to which uh, you know they love this nation. And I think that if you go back and you look at many of the things they've said, you saw the vice president say some of that this morning as well, uh, talking about the nation as garbage, for example. Um, but but I would I would you know again reiterate this election and these issues that we're talking about are fundamental to the future of this country. When you have members of Congress who are as anti-Semitic as as uh, Ilan Omar has been, when you have members of Congress who are advocating uh, the you know complete elimination of the use of all fossil fuels, all air travel, the elimination of private insurance, uh, the imposition of socialism on this country, we're not going to stand for that. We're not going to stand for policies that take freedom away from mm -hmm. the American people. That's what this fight is about. But what you're talking about there are policy differences. That's, That's right. That's not what the president was tweeting about this morning. Listen, and when I he think said, I don't believe the four congresswomen are capable of loving our country, I know you disagree with their policies and their politics. You just made that clear. But there have been death threats against Congresswoman Ilhan Omar. In Margaret, April, there Margaret, was an listen, arrest because someone called Margaret, her office and said, no question, asked listen, if she was a member there of the are a lot of said, Are you going to let me answer in, your question, I'm, I'm asking the question. I, I, I got the a question. A bullet in there are call. There are uh, fundamentally, uh, this, is, this is a moment where um, we have to be very clear. And, and it's really important for us to focus on and, and I know you guys don't want to. You don't want to focus on the fact that there are substantive differences. You also don't want to focus on the... But wait, I, let me... I let you <laughs> ask me the question. This is about policy. But that's not what the president and is, is talking this about. Is, He's that not is talking not about true. The president every single day talks about policy. Are every they single capable day, or loving our every country? Every single day this president talks about the tremendous economic growth that we have seen since he's been in office, the tremendous job growth, the tremendous capable decline Capable of loving our country has nothing Margaret, to do with jobs. Uh, you are you making my point. With that sentiment? You are making my point for me right now. We are, are you focused with the president on president or disagree with them because I'm not clear. The president has absolutely said that they should not have chanted center back. Uh, our concern and our uh, opposition to what these women are saying and many other members of the Democratic Party in the House Representatives has to do with the fact that they are advocating policies that will destroy this nation and we will fight against it and I think the news media you included ought to cover the substance and I think it is outrageous for you to say the president doesn't talk about substance every single day you can look at the evidence you can look at the fact that this nation is stronger uh, than than it has probably ever been you can look at what the president's policies have done on economic mm -hmm. growth uh, but you don't want to talk about that. So I do think that it would be... We would be love to talk you. about that. And you the have president every opportunity, has every about single that. day you've The got president an this morning tweeted that they don't love their country. Uh, you, you've made that point. Margaret, the rest yes. of the world is also watching this, though. That's right. Um, Canada's prime minister said the comments made were hurtful, wrong, completely unacceptable. Germany's chancellor said these sentiments are in opposition to her impressions about the U.S., and she expressed solidarity, in her words, with the attacked women. The Prime Minister of the UK issued a statement condemning this of New Zealand. These aren't members of the media. These are world leaders. Should Americans find the comments from the president acceptable? Margaret, listen, I know you want to continue to talk about this as though it had to do with race. I know you want to continue to talk about it you as though it had... You think all those world leaders Margaret, I just let you. I just let everything? you go through. Look, I don't think the American people are going to look to foreign leaders to tell us who should lead the nation. They're not going to look to foreign leaders to tell us whether or not we should be a socialist country. Thank goodness we won't do that. 
we depend upon those people who are elected. And I think that when you see the, the Democratic members of Congress uh, standing up and saying that they want to, you know, that, that we have concentration mm -hmm. camps on our borders, that they want to provide free health care for illegal immigrants, that they want to end sure. private health insurance, that they want to impose socialism on this country, they need to defend those policy positions. And we are going to take every opportunity to make sure the American people who are the ones that are going to make this choice uh, come mm -hmm. November 2020, recognize the fundamental choice that we're all facing. I want to get to you on Iran, but I just do want to point out that there are two black elected Republicans who said that this was racially insensitive. Margaret, and another Republican, Mark the, Walker, Margaret, said it we was have, painful. Margaret, so we have all said that's that. not the media. Excuse but me, but on you, Iran, listen, you just continue to sort of put these little points out there and then move on. And every time you do it, you are making the point I'm making. As Republicans, we are focused on substance, we are focused on policy, and we will continue to do that no matter what the main mainstream media attempts to do. All right. Unfortunately, now we don't have time to talk about Iran. But well, thank you, you should very have asked much. about Iran sooner because that's a policy issue. I would love to. If the president tweets Great. about it, we certainly will because I know you he have. He has tweeted raised about Iran. Actually, about he's tweeted about Iran quite a bit. It'd be good to cover all the president's tweets. I would love tweets. to. Great. Thank you very much.